tenth chamber. Now voyagers who hold knowledge will appear. At the same moment, the pathway to the brute dimension, the dimension of stupidity and passion for ignorance and unknowingness, will open up and try to attract me. The multicolored radiation of the pure tendencies will shine, and at the same time, the voyagers who hold knowledge will appear. From the center, the Lord of the Dance, the supreme holder of knowledge who ripens karmic fruit, his aura radiating a rainbow of color, his form filled with the presence of the Great Mother, the Mother of the Cosmic Sky, will appear. To the south, the holder of knowledge called He Who Has Power Over Duration of Life, whose aura is yellow in color, smiling and radiating light, filled with the presence of the Sky Mother, will appear. To the west, the guide called the holder of knowledge of the great symbolic gesture, whose aura is red in color, smiling and radiating, filled with the presence of the Great Mother, will also appear. To the north, the guide called the self-evolved holder of knowledge, whose aura is green in color, with a half-angry, half-smiling and amused facial expression, and whose form is filled with the presence of the Great Mother, will also appear. There will also be a great number of female guides of the places of cremation, of the three abodes, of the 30 holy places, and of the 24 places of pilgrimage, of the heart center, the throat center, the brain center, and the places of worship. Also heroes, heroines, warriors, protectors of the faith, both male and female, and sounds so immense as to confound and confuse one with their unbelievable roaring and crashing and booming. These deities will either receive me and help me, or they will try to overwhelm me for being caught up in illusions. Also at this time, a five-colored radiation emitted simultaneously from the purified and perfected tendencies, vibrating and dazzling like colored spider threads, flashing, radiating, and transparent, beautiful and terrifying all at once, will emanate out of the hearts of the five chief holders of knowledge so strongly, shockingly, and brightly that I may not be able to look at them. At the same time, a soft, seductive green radiation coming from the brute dimension along with the rays of wisdom will appear. Through the influence of my karmic tendencies toward envy, I may want to hide from the rainbow light of wisdom, and I may also feel attracted to the nice, harmless-looking, soft, seductive green light coming from the lower brute dimension. From the center of the brilliant rainbow radiation, the sound of the shining clear light will reverberate like the sound of a thousand thunders. This sound will come with a rolling reverberation which will sound like a mob of millions of insane hunters screaming, Kill! Kill! Chanting will seem to come from everywhere. It's just my own consciousness creating significance where there is none. Those sounds are just what they seem to be at first, rolling thunder. I won't become attracted to the soft, seductive green light of the lower brute dimension. If I become attracted by it, I'll be pulled into rebirth in the brute dimension where stupidity is the practice and I'll have to suffer the misery of slavery to a population of morons who practice treachery and brutality as a matter of course. Their treachery and brutality are made even worse by the fact that they are totally unaware of their brutality. It might be a long time before I can get out of that one. It isn't a good place to hide, and only if I really have a desperate urge to hold on to my karmic tendencies toward envy and spitefulness will I feel that it's a safe place in which to hide from the brilliant rainbow light. If I'm having trouble, then I can concentrate my attention in this way. All these guides have come from the dimension of purgatory to receive me and to help me through the labyrinth. I invoke their presence. Up until today, even though the five orders of guides have all exerted their compassion and dissolving radiation, I haven't been able to allow myself to be helped by them. Have pity on me. May the knowledge-holding guides not allow me to keep down-spiraling any further than this but hold me out through their compassion and mercy. Collecting myself, I'll concentrate my attention in this way. O oh, you knowledge-holding guides, please listen to me. Lead me on the path with your great love and compassion. When wandering in the labyrinth because of these intensified karmic tendencies on the bright light path of the simultaneously born wisdom, may the guides lead me. May the Great Mother be my protector. Rescue me from the shocking and fearful ambush of the labyrinth, 
and help me achieve completion in the real world. If I've concentrated in deep faith and humility, and my attention was clear and pure, there is no doubt that I will be born within the sun absolute after being merged in a rainbow bridge of light into the heart of the holders of knowledge. Having now fallen to this lower stage of the labyrinth voyage, I must look to the dimensions of embodiment rather than to the sun absolute as places of refuge. Although liberation into the void can be attained from any form of existence, I may not be able to reach it unless I can restore my depleted death energy with energy self-generated. Since most individuals are not trained to do this, I should assume that I had better make the best of the situation as it is. Anyone coming to recognition at this stage can attain liberation, even those with the heaviest negative tendencies. This ends the method concerned with confrontations with the friendly guides of the first path of the second stage.